Hello. So I just got a pack of Amazon erasers from Amazon. So they just come in a plastic bag, which then holds a box. So you can see this is Amazon Basics, a block white eraser, and a 10 pack. I am always losing my eraser, so I like to have a bunch of them so they have them around the house. Alright, so the way these erasers work, each one comes in a little shrink wrap. So you get the shrink wrap open. It takes a bit of nail work. Let's see if we can go from this end. So these are used for erasing out pencil marks. And this is great if you're doing sketches. And in my case, I do pen and ink watercolor. So what I use this for is I draw first with pencil. I may have to actually get some scissors here because these seals are pretty tight. Oh, oh I got it. So that's the sure way to get it to work is to threaten to have to use something else. All right, got the shrink wrap off. And there's a pl protective cardboard on it, which is just used to hold, and then the block inside is the actual eraser part. So this is just something to help you hold it so that you don't get your fingers all over it. All right, so it's a fairly tight texture. So this is inexpensive watercolor paper here. And if I were to draw a line is a little tougher than the other erasers that I tend to use and you can see this is not thoroughly coming up Let's see if I scrub it down you don't want to have to scrub a ton to get the pencil up because often you have other stuff on the paper that you're just trying to take the pencil off and not take off you know the watercolor or the pen and ink or whatever else that you're doing all right so there's still <laughs> Fair amount of mark there. Let's see if we do this light. All right, so we did that later. All right, that comes up better. All right, so this is working well with light. Like I said, that's a cheaper paper. This is a more expensive paper. It's got um deeper ridges too. So let's do it light this time. Yep, and that comes up well. Let's do it a little darker. Yeah, it's having a little rougher time with it, but it is still coming up. All right, so what I would say with the Amazon Basics is to make sure you draw your pencil fairly light. I mean, you'll want it dark enough that you can see what you're doing, especially if you're doing watercolors. But you wouldn't want to be scrubbing like this if you had watercolor or pen and ink on here because you might be lifting part of the paper up that has the color in it. So use it light, and for light it seems to work fairly well in a number of different surfaces. Avoid going too dark with the pencil because then you might still leave a shadow of it. I like that it has the little protective holder on it so that you can have a good grip while you're working with it and in general it seems to work reasonably well so especially at the lower price point that they tend to have these at I would say it's a good deal especially if you're doing a lot of practice stuff um, this would be great for being able to deal with practice stuff and then when you get to the higher end works that you're doing maybe for commissions I might go for a higher quality eraser so there you have the Amazon basics Black White Eraser.